The troops that had the worst reputation for acts of violence against prisoners were the Canadians. A direct quote from British Captain Robert Graves' bestseller, Goodbye to All That. When we think about Canadians, we imagine the hockey-loving, syrup-drinking, and apologetic individuals we know today. But what if I told you it's rumored that parts of the Geneva Convention were written due to the atrocities of Canadian soldiers that took place during World War I? Before we get into the video, remember to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload our next video. Any support is always appreciated. The brutality of war has the ability to change and shape people for better or for worse. While the efforts and resilience of Canadian soldiers will forever be remembered, it is also important to look back on how the stresses and brutality of war drove some men to commit acts that were downright evil. And when it came to the Canadians, I mean they were evil. Christmas Truce in 1914, an unofficial truth between soldiers took place along no man's land. The French, British, and Germans crossed lines to share gifts, food, drinks, and even conversations. Some of the men even had friendly matches of soccer or football depending on where you're from. However, a year later after Canadians had joined the war, they took a different approach. In 1915, as Christmas grew closer, the Canadians and Germans were entrenched in Belgium. A German soldier wishing the same peace as last year would take place waved a pack of cigarettes above the trenches as a sign of peace. A Canadian lance corporal didn't take much liking to this. None of the soldiers were supposed to mingle as they were under direct order not to. He responded by shooting and killing two Germans. That ended any hope of peace occurring that holiday. Canadian soldiers were downright so evil they would even stir up new ideas and methods to attack German soldiers when they least expected it. The Canadians got into the habit of tossing tin cans of corned beef across and into German lines. Once the Germans asked for more, they would be met with tins filled with nails, pieces of metal, and loaded with gunpowder exploding in their trenches. If you were one of the lucky ones to survive, you had more problems to come. The Canadian soldiers would often kill any prisoners they found. With one story involving a Canadian slipping a live grenade into the pocket of a greatcoat of a German prisoner. War can drive people to do some crazy things. It's important to be grateful if you live in a place that you feel safe. Especially with how things are in the world and with everything on TV, I hope everyone stays safe. Remember to subscribe and like this video and hit the bell for notifications on when we upload.